Let's park here. I just press a start and we're going to find out if the car can park by itself. As you can see, the car is making a left. Can Tesla FSD take us from point A to point B? Let's find out. Hey guys, my name is Anato and welcome to my FSD videos. I love to film Tesla FSD videos. I'm from New York and we're going to see how Tesla FSD take us from point A to point B. If you guys are new in this channel, I would please request you to hit that subscribe button to support me as a new content creator. So we are making a right turn here. As you can see that there is no other car on our left side and the car just proceed. Very good job. Very, very good. So it is changing the lane and move to the left side. Very good, it will be a 10 minutes drive and we're gonna find out if the car can take us without any human intervention in this New York route. Now it is going and changing another lane. Very good, it is trying to probably going it is trying to go a little faster that's why it is keep changing the lane and it is going very good like no confusion there it is just changing it is going a little slow compared to my taste but it is going not a big issue it's just being cautious probably okay now changing another lane it is definitely going very slow now, like 39 on, now it is increasing the speed limit. Now it is increasing, very good. So we stop for this traffic light and when the traffic light will change to green, we can move forward. Also, guys, I'm going to request you one more time. Please, if you're watching this content for the first time, my name is Nado. Please hit the subscribe button because I love to film Tesla full self-driving performance. And I'm from New York. So please hit that subscribe button to support me. The light just changed. We are proceeding. Very good. Are you a Tesla FSD beta tester? Stop scrolling. The FSD beta bumper magnet is a must have. This sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out. Grab yours on Amazon today. So it is still going like 39 on 40. I would definitely prefer go a little fast. Um, really don't know everyone is complaining about, uh, complaining about this, that the car is driving slow in this softer version. So, you know, like probably in the next version, the car will fix by itself or, oh my goodness, it is trying to change the lane, but there is a car in our right side. It was trying, but that car from the right side, like this one, was coming a little fast. So we cannot just change the lane when there is a car coming. So it was trying though. Uh, so there is a truck in front of us, but we're gonna see if the car changed the lane and go try to go a little faster. So we are stuck for this traffic light. And if you know that, like because there is a big vehicle in front of us, we cannot see the light. I know there is a traffic light in front of us, but because of the camera is, we are lower than that truck, we cannot like see those traffic light. So now the light just changed because other vehicle are 
proceeding still i can see the green light now there is still we cannot now we can see in the graphics that there is green light so let's see if the car changes the lane and try to go, go a little faster so it is still now following the truck not even trying to change the lane and move to the right side and trying to go a little fast but we're gonna find out definitely if the car tries to do it it is still going like 39 on 40 it could easily change the lane and go a little faster now the speed limit changed to 50, so we're gonna find out if the car now tries to change the lane, but we don't need to because the truck just moved over to another lane and now the car is going 47. Like it is hesitating to increase the speed. This is what I'm feeling. Like the, this version of software 12.5.4.1 is hesitating and it is not going over the limit of that speed limit. Like 50, we're going 47, very slow. And my max is set on 65 so as you can see on the graphics but for some reason the car is not following that so we are going though we are going we're gonna make a left turn on this upcoming traffic light we need to change and go to this left turn lane as you can see and our car is following those two other car we can definitely move to the left lane to go a little faster but the car is staying here behind those uh, two car we can just definitely move to the left side uh, for just going a little faster but the car decided as you can see in the graphics that we have less car on this left lane so we could just go here not stuck in here behind those like more cars so as a human driver probably would definitely go on this lane on the left lane not staying here but this is just a thing that the car will learn over the time that how i drive or people wants to drive so it's just a process that we need to give tesla data that this is how human drives or we prefer this is how things should be done so we're the light just changed and hopefully we're not gonna be stuck here our car is moving slowly and yeah very good hopefully the light will stay and our car will go through so yes we just make that left turn perfectly without any problem very good job there no hesitation no problem no confusion at all so we are almost here to our place uh, our destination so hopefully the car will make a right turn on that upcoming green light traffic light and uh, we will finish this video so for the last time i just want to tell you guys thank you for watching this video i'm really really grateful that you guys spend your time in this video and please hit that subscribe button to support me as a content creator thank you so much for watching and i'm just gonna wait to make that right turn and end the video so we're going, still going guys. Changing the lane, came to that right turn lane. Now making this right turn, very good job. Hopefully the car will get into this driveway. Let's find out if the car does. Yes, it is turning on its indicator. It is trying to get in, very good. It gets into the driveway very good so i'm gonna i'm gonna end it because i know it's just gonna try to go here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna test that auto park feature so let's park here i just press a start and we're gonna find out if the car can park by itself as you can see the car is making a left slowly and now rotating the steering wheel and making and going back and wow this is great Ooh, 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 ooh. okay okay less a space a little on the left side and I'm, I have to see if the car hits that bracket no very good amazing amazing guys thank you for watching guys I really appreciate that I love you so much and hit the subscribe have a wonderful wonderful day